Hello fellow guitar players, in this video I will demonstrate some sound effects on the guitar. I'm using my last ball that I'm remembering how to play once again. And let's get started. Some of these techniques you may already know, so if you do, great, sorry. Number one, the unison bend. What a unison bend is when you are using two strings and you are you start out as this like dissonant dissonance and then you bend the second string to the same pitch and you when when the amplifier is nice and loud you hear that it's like the beating of the waves so for this simple exercise let's try to play an e on the e string 12th fret and then a D on the B string. And then what we do is we we bend the, the D to the same pitch as the E. And it sounds like this. Do it slowly and start really dissonant and then bend it to the same note. Okay? Similarly, a lot of uh, blues guitars, it's, uh, it's almost a cliche sound. It's the third bend when you're playing, in this example, a G on the E string and then the same D on the B string, right? And, and by the way, notice when, when we're bending strings, the other fingers that are not used, keep them on the string. You will have more <laughs> strength when you bend those notes. So. This sound effect. Another thing to note is that if you have a floating tremolo system like I do, when you're bending a string, the, the whammy arm goes down and the pitch goes flat. Even if you're bending strings that are not the ones that you're actually strumming. So, the point I'm trying to make is that bend all the notes just slightly more, slightly higher, so that they sound in tune. So this is again the third. Alright, the next sound effect I think was created by Jimi Hendrix. Maybe somebody else did it before. But um, what you do, and this works on a Stratocaster or this configuration if you have a you have several pickups what you do is you take your neck pickup for example and roll off all the tone leaving all the volume at full and then on this pickup the bridge pickup the tone and the volume is on full and then what you do is you toggle between your pickups and you can approximate this wah wah sound and uh, Sounds like this. Something like that. Next technique is the the pick scrape. That is uh, used sadly by Van Halen. What you do is you uh, do this. Kind of place the pick, not perpendicular to the string, but almost like this, and then you just go like. Nice and cool. All right. Next technique is the I don't know what you call it, like a slidey thing. So you let's see. Say you're playing a chord. Right. With your index finger. It's 
kind of sounds kind of cool. All right. Next technique is using artificial harmonics, and it can sound almost like a flanger. So we are trilling. Let's use the A string from B flat to C. And while we're trilling, we take the index finger and we don't like push it into the string, but just lightly touching the string and just slowly moving it like that. And it sounds something like this. Just some cool tricks. If I can think of something else, I will record another video. Cheers, guys.